all over the world the last 50 years have seen massive changes to the family. In American society, the category family now includes single parents raising children, unmarried couples with children, adult couples living with elderly parents, and same-sex couples raising a child. In Europe and the United States, almost one out of 10 babies are born, four out of 10 babies are born to unmarried parents. Catholics in these countries, at least for the most part, no longer think of the family only in terms of a heterosexual married couple with children. The family does not and never has come only in one form. Catholic cultures have historically appreciated the value of extended families, the network, network of aunts and uncles, or you say aunts and uncles, grandparents, in-laws, and cousins. The ancient Western unit of the household respected bonds and responsibilities that were not always based on marital relationships. The church regards marriage as one of the officially designated seven sacraments, but Catholic cultures have often appreciated the sacramental meaning of families as networks of relationships constituted by daily, tangible, and usually unspoken practices of loving and being loved. Contemporary families are much more complicated than is captured by the normative, normative paradigm of the family promoted by popes for the last hundred years or so. As Herbert McCabe's article in the volume suggests, the portrait of the holy family in popular art does not communicate the messy nature of the full biblical narrative. If the church, as Vatican II has suggested, is called to read the signs of the times and respond to them in light of the gospel, then these changes in the family present a major pastoral challenge to the church. Despite significant changes to the institution of the family, and especially to marriage, most people want to belong to a loving, healthy family. Theologian Werner Jeanron calls family the first among institutions of love. It's a beautiful expression, the first among institutions of love. Families are often the source of our greatest challenges, but also our greatest joys. Parenthood is extremely difficult and a difficult responsibility, particularly in our time. We've all heard the expression, it takes a village to raise a child, but it also is the case that it takes a village to be a family. <laughs> 